Well, the fight over the new Gulf Shores School District is heating up. The Baldwin County Board of Education is now suing the Gulf Shores City Board of Education and the state superintendent. News 5's Nicolette with more, Nicolette. Yeah, Jason, this lawsuit is all about $7 million of taxpayer money. So more taxpayer money is going to be spent so a court can decide where that money belongs. The deadline to sign a separation agreement involving the Gulf Shores Education Board came and went Friday. Gulf Shores signed the agreement. Baldwin County did not. Instead, filing a 40-page lawsuit over $7 million of foundation money. Where does that taxpayer money go? The state superintendent says it goes to the new Gulf Shores school system. However, the Baldwin County School District says not so fast. That's $7 million in Baldwin County revenue from this school year to a school system that has no students enrolled at the present time. The lawsuit does say Baldwin County never argued the validity of forming this school system. It's just all about that seven million dollars. Baldwin County Superintendent Eddie Tyler said in a news conference last month he believes the money is unfair. However, the Gulf Shore City Board of Education believes the funding is fair. We think there's maybe just a simple misinterpretation between school year and fiscal year, but any payroll we get, we'll be paying out, and Baldwin County will not be paying those teachers. So there's no uh, over enrichment that I can see in the program. The deadline to enroll in the Gulf Shore school system was February 1st. Despite this court battle, Gulf Shore school system will start on time next year, but the question on whether it will have the funding when it begins is up to the courts. Neither Gulf Shores or Baldwin counties have commented on this lawsuit. Now, Baldwin County will hold a news conference tomorrow and will, of course, be streaming that live. Live in the newsroom, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5.